when you first start using Visual Studio 2010, you'll find that eventually you'll want to use external libraries that are not part of the Visual Studio environment. And to do this, you'll have to configure the include and library directories. In Visual Studio 2010, you need to configure two places where you want to set either a per project setting or per well, global setting. And uh, we can do this first. To start off your whole system, we're going to go and start a new project. So File, New, Project. And uh, so go to Win32 Console Application. I'll take the default as Work and select a project and hit OK. Next, Empty Project, Finish. Great. So I'm going to close all these windows and uh, make sure that I am Solution Explorer. Notice I am in a project called A1. Once we've started the C++ project, we'll configure this project to use our own include directories and library directories if needed. So I'm going to do this by going to Project and we're going to select Properties and in configuration you'll notice VC++ directories and here this setting under include directories we're going to append these with a semicolon and include other folders that you want to include for this project. You can also do this for the library but to make sure the separator is a semicolon so I'm going to hit the semicolon and C colon slash lib for example and hit the apply. So and hit OK. Now what we've done is we've configured uh, the Visual Studio for this project only to include another external directory called C colon slash include and a library directory where our libraries are located as C colon slash lib. In this example, I'm going to configure the global settings for all projects so that all projects in Visual Studio 2010 will be using certain include directories and library directories for access to external libraries. I'm going to do this by first, we're going to have to start an empty project. And although we do have to start a project, it doesn't necessarily mean that we're configuring just the project settings. We're actually going to be setting the uh, global settings for all projects. So I'm going to start a new project, new project, and select Win32 console application. I'm going to give it a project name, let's call it A2, and hit OK, and hit the next, empty project, finish. And so we're now inside some projects, a project called A2. Make sure the Solution Explorer is open so we can see what we're doing. Notice we are in a project because in the top left hand corner you can actually see A2, the name of the project. And the first step we're going to do is uh, to configure the global include and lib directories for searching of external libraries. We're going to hit the view and we're actually going to go to other windows and in other windows we're selecting property manager. Once we get to Property Manager, I'm going to hit the plus, and you'll notice that there is an entry called Debug. I'm going to hit the plus in that. And then I'm going to click on Microsoft.cppwin32.user. Double click it. And here, I'm actually going to select CNC++ and sorry, actually VC++ directories. And in the VC++ directories, there's an option for include. And in here, I'm going to go to the end. And putting a separator as semicolon, I can specify the location of my shared of my shared header files. And so in this case, I've just typed in include, C colon include. So this will be the new directory where all header files will be searched for after the system finishes searching the existing include directories that are installed with Visual Studio.
2010. We can repeat this process for the library, but uh, once you finish, hit the Apply button, hit the OK button, and this is important so that uh, you don't have to set this again. Hit the Write Context button for the menu and say Save. If you don't save this, you won't see the settings on next time you come and start Visual Studio for your next project. Once you've done that, and uh, you're all set.